Morning. It's nice today. Yeah, that sun's out. Even at its early stage of the morning. I haven't got to have a jumper on. It's going to be hot, isn't it? Like, couldn't have picked a better Easter weekend if you've uh, if you've got time off. I've got time off. I'm working here. That's what I want to do. But I'm in business. Just shifted the mixer out into the clamp, so there's a bit more room in the shed. Andy and Em are both here somewhere. Well, I've seen Andy, but I haven't actually seen him. I'm sure she'll be here. I'm sure she won't have been at the pub for too long last night. <laughs> Did anybody see yesterday's with the tyre? I wonder if she's come on a bike. Morning, Andy. All right, Em. Have you come on a bike? Did you enjoy the pub? Good. First thing for me this morning is fixing this mudguard. I didn't mention it yesterday because it was such a long video, but um, when we were backing up into one of the fields, there was a stone. It caught on the mud on the mud flap there, which obviously I can't see from the from the seat, and it pulled it under the wheel, which is a bit of a nightmare because it snapped these brackets off. So we just had to tie it up, and luckily this is a lifting axle. So on the way home, I could just lift it up and um, it was out of the way. But if we want to use it, which we are going to want to use it, we need to fix this. So I need to have a look and see what I can do. If we can get some bolts and washers and stuff and, and bodge it together. First thing I'm going to have to do is pump the suspension up and wash off the spray suppression. So if you look like on that, with it being a farm, going down farm tracks all the time, stuff like that, it gets full of mud and it makes the um the plastic really heavy so i'm struggling to lift it up i'm struggling to unlock this door <laughs> dad's feeding on the tm last bit of meals up Gosh! i've been trying to fix my lorry well i know but i've got i'm gonna get red cars i think do the job proper my dad wants to put washers on, but he doesn't realise that it's not long enough. It's funny about trying to put washers in these, but I've, I've done it before and it's an absolute nightmare. Because like, you can't get in to hold it with a screwdriver or a spanner. And yeah, we'll just drive five miles, get one of these, business done. Me and Ash jump in Ilux Power and get over to a place called Nets at Rotherham. Next? No, not next. I'm not getting another suit. Nets, as in like football nets. So we got here, hopefully they've got the got park. One, and I've just crashed into that cone. <laughs> Good job it's in eye looks. Wondered what it was making that funny noise, Ash. Now it is repair time. Uh, it's all done. Safely on, back to business. Rotary required for coffee cam today. Just me and Ash. All that time going, getting parts and fixing stuff we missed. Um, coffee time with everybody else, so. Hey -oh. we'll have it now, a bit later, but still there. Getting some cows out. I'm getting a bit giddy now though, so I'll probably leave these. Hello. I've been here, there, and everywhere. Um, need to go and fill the lorry up after uh, fixing the wheel arch. And actually move it. And, um, yeah, my dad's going to go and pick some more cows up, I think. Em's now doing a mix. She's on the nine metre. Wonder what Ash is doing. Oh, he's keeping busy. Tinder must be good today. My oh, mate, Ash! <laughs> Left or right, I don't know what you were doing, must have just been stuck on one of them. Must, must have fallen in love, I reckon. <laughs> Can't wait to see this. Press that one. <laughs> What's the psh button? It doesn't press where the sun rises, but not the other. No, he needs pressing both. I've never pressed them both, but it's all over. Right, let's, let's, right. let's settle this right now. Done forever, right? Take them pipes off. What we're talking about now is a pressure that's um, we can. There's a pressure release button on here. Now I am sure that we have to press the button and the, the service that we want. Let's build some pressure up on it. Let's let's see who's correct. It's the 
button that we're on about here, I think in the other JCB, you just press the button, right? We're not in the one, but we're in the nine meter right now. And I think you have to press the button and work the auxiliary or the, um, the part that you want to release pressure in. Let's give it a go anyway, because we're taking too long explaining it. In agreement that there's pressure on them pipes. Yep. Right, let's just hold on that. Okay. Once or twice. Right, check it then. Oh, Jesus! Damn! I told you, I know it. <sighs> Look at this, apprentice teaching the professional here. Yeah? Hey? Well, what can I say, Em? You know what you're doing? I don't. Obviously. Oh, you know, like when you're so so sure of something, then you get it wrong, and you look like an absolute numpty on YouTube. When you're supposed to know what you're doing. It, all, it? it wouldn't be bad if I had to film it all. Either him. No, you're correct there. I could edit this out, wouldn't I? No. Then that'd be lying to people, wouldn't it? You'd have to keep this in. I, what I could do is I could be like, I could go back and I could say like, M says you've got to work this button and this. I could flip it round, couldn't I? In editing. I'll not do it. I'll just leave it like this. Well done, M. Business. Business. Here is M wearing the Joe Seals top. Business. Business. How weird is this, M? Very strange. Very strange. Anyway, that's that. I'm wearing the other Joe Seals top with the green bits on it. If anybody likes that one. My dad's wearing it. For a day like today, can't beat just looking over a field of wheat or barley. This looks perfect. Nature's little solar panels soaking up all that sunlight. Turning it into food. Absolute Absolutely business. Us as humans and nature can achieve. Like that's gonna feed people. And that sun just makes it better. Aircon's not working too great on this JCB. That might be why. Hmm, it's filthy. Well, I, might, I might as well get the air filter out, get that clean, because I guess that'll need doing. Yeah, it's got some muck in there. Oh, and that's one way to destroy it. Andy's back with the plow. It's out as well. In fact, stay, stay like that, Andy. I'm going to get a photo of that. It looks pretty cool, you know, like. Yeah, on the side of the tractor and all that business. Yeah, yeah. And, um, the photo op with uh, with Andy on the tractor. <laughs> I've already done it to him. It's weird, isn't it? Like, yeah, thanks. Yeah, it's really weird. So, I'll just tell you what Andy's been saying to me because the innuendo in it is just absolutely fantastic. Been talking about ploughing in these knickers. Were you wearing your missus's knickers, Andy? No. Oh, it's your knickers. Twisted boxers, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Andy needs some mixed wife hunts. Um, Andy needs some um, advice on the best boxers to wear for ploughing. And what do you say? Book raking does it as well? Yeah. Gets, it all, gets it all twisted, you know? So, he's having some issues with that. Yeah. <laughs> Let us know in the comments, eh? Andy and Ash are back on taking cows out. If he turns up. Oh, is he a look? So yeah, we've got some more to put down on that uh, nature reserve with the big pond in the middle. That's the plan now. See you so in a bit. we're hoping this time, that's where the, the stone was that ripped the mud guard off, which I couldn't see. Ash is going to get the uh, gates open. There's one here and there's one a bit further along. And then we'll get cracking. I'll start blocking the road off again. This time I've managed to do it without blocking the entire road off. So I will actually get to get some footage of this. It's a really nice place. Bird watching hide over there. And there they go. One, two, three. Sure, there's two more, isn't there? No, five. Oh, was there? Oh, that's all right then. Back at oh yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. My bad. Well, you're not so that bothered, are you, kids? 
and find your mates. Oh, they're off now. It's nice to see. Creating a habitat for the birds and wildlife on this nature reserve. Because the cat will keep the grass down. They use the hoof prints to make impressions that some ground nesting birds use for their nests. They keep way, they make ways into the to the water to drink. You know, there's fertilizing the ground with the muck that they're producing, and then the muck getting insects, and then the cattle having insects on them, and insects equals stuff for the birds and oh i could just keep going on and on ash but i just feel like i'm rambling but basically cows are absolutely brilliant where are these effers going top side at milky stream, side at milky stream. right okay video evidence. video evidence my dad said yesterday that we weren't allowed putting on in top side at milky stream because there's some ne uh, nesting lapwings in there um Stream. I'm gonna go and confirm it with him anyway before I get out in match about it. And um, yeah, it's fine to put him in top side at Milk Stream, even though my dad said yesterday that there were lapwings nesting on there. It's at the other side where the lapwings are nesting, so that we can't put any on. So. These guys are going on. Yeah, you just try, like if you lift, lift it while you're on it, and you'll be able to lift it all the way to the top. Go on. Go on, pull it harder. Come on, Emily, let's give it a try. Go on, go on, go on! I can't do it, okay? You nearly did it. You nearly did it, you're nearly strong enough, Em. Just try again. You Come on. Just you gotta use your legs a bit more. Go on. That's it, use your legs. That is priceless, that's just gold. Hey? Add Emma into wages today. If you like that, press the like button. <laughs> That's worth a subscription, in fact. Just subscribe straight away. We'll probably have like 20,000 subscribers now, Emma, you know. <laughs> Cut the door shut, finally. Um, <clears throat> me and Ash are going to take some more cows out. More cows, Again, business. Again, opening gates of it. Legend. Put the cattle on that side there. As you can see, it's like flooded an area. But the cattle that we're putting on today are going to be on this right hand side here. Like I said, this was all arable fields up until maybe 10 years ago, and then they dug all this out to um, yeah, to make it into a nature reserve. So we've got two people up here not wearing anorak, so I'm guessing they're going to smile. Smiles, big smiles. Everybody's happy in the countryside today. It's fantastic. This is the sort of stuff we've got to drive through. It's like, did you hear that? Yeah, that's scratching my lorry. want to drive a brand new Scania through here, I tell you that, you'd be like, uh-uh, this ain't gonna happen. Right, we're here. I was having trouble with the keys, so I'll look at that in a minute, but check this out, we've got a lovely sorting pen here, but it's not actually connected to the field. <laughs> so we have a barbed wire section that goes in here. We didn't put this in, by the way. I think the idea was when they originally built this sorting pen was that the, 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 the hedge or the, the fence would come down to here but then they decided they wanted this as a sacrificial crop so then the fence got moved out there totally out of our control but that's how it is so we got these guys coming out now really so i'll just let them walk themselves out because the fence isn't great between these two fields here, so if they don't want any pressure on them really, just let them walk themselves. Don't look that way, for God's sake. Just stand back a bit, Ash. I didn't like the way they were just looking to that right hand side. Right, they're off now anyway. So yeah, they'll be out there for yeah, probably into November, I'd have thought. Some, some grass at this end, 
a lot of um, like pond area and to be honest this turns a lot into thistles and stuff like that but it's uh, it'll sustain that small amount of cattle in this large area you just see the thistles coming through now yeah give it um, another month or so and they'll be really up um could do with spraying really but the uh the policy is that they don't so they don't thought i'd just come and check on these guys i'd seen that they'd run up to this end uh, ash said yesterday there's a lot of bird feeders on there on the side and ash said they ain't gonna last long and I, yeah i don't think they are they're at them already trying to <laughs> play with them and eat them um, I'll maybe have to ring Dave up and just tell him uh, tell him to take them down if he wants to uh, to reuse them somewhere else. That's uh, Dave from RSPB. This side that we can't put the kettle because there's lap wings nesting on there. And if you see right in the centre of the screen, that is a lap wing. Very small. So I'm going to get my finger. There somewhere. <laughs> Flat wings nesting in our arable land, like this to the side of us here, we farm that. And if we see a nest, we'll go around it. Because uh, they are in, I don't think, I don't think they're endangered lap wings, but they are in short number um, and they are quite nice. So we'd always go around and they always guard the nest, so they'll stop on the eggs pretty much. You couldn't even really run, run, them, run them over if, because uh, they'll not move out with. So we'll often go around them with the discs and then work it up after. So Em's going to wash the wagon out. Best of us about done, haven't we Andy? Yeah. Andy's just been like, not been here for the last two days. He's just been ploughing, sitting away in his tractor, ploughing away. Loves it. Yeah. Loves it, doesn't he, Ash? Loves to be ploughing away. Yeah. Yeah, so. yeah twisting his boxes. <laughs> so, yeah. Bye, Andy. So, yeah. We might have a problem with the cartridge pressure washer. Greta Thunberg is not going to be happy with this. We've, we've turned the heat off now, so let it. I think we might, might be better standing out of this shed. I'm just finishing off clean it wagon. Like an absolute pro. Oh, Major's gone. She's like, no, no, I'll wash, I'll wash lorry out. I'll wash lorry out. So. Fair enough, whatever. Nice, the apple trees are coming in to blossom. The tractor's all in now, so they're safely away for tonight. And Em's just finishing um, the lorry, closing that up. Then we're done. A good laugh today, maybe at Em's expense, but uh, <laughs> you'll know for next time, Em, won't you? Yeah. Just don't trust anything that we say. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Um, so yeah, if you've liked that, please uh, press that like and subscribe, and we will see you, well I'll definitely see you tomorrow, I think you're off tomorrow aren't you? Nice, business. business. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll see you later in the week, uh, well you see him later in the week, okay? Business. See you later guys! Bye bye! Bye bye! She's off Monday as well. Yeah, it's like, it's like, well Andy says he don't want to come, so you might as well not come. Like, oh, Alright! Alright, so I'm here on my billy on Monday! Yeah, I've eh? got Mick on us. Oh, well, yeah, there. Ah, um, well, maybe. I might have half, half a person then, if I've got them two. Yeah, Ash is quite useful. Yeah, Ash is quite useful, actually. Yeah. Mick, sorry, not so much. Right, I'm going, I've got something in my eye. Bye! Go tonight. I just wanted to reiterate what I said on TikTok earlier, and for those who haven't got TikTok, um, me, Em, Andy, and all the gang, Big Mick, Ash, we're going to be going to Priory Rose Vintage Tractor Run. Um, on the 15th of May it's on a Sunday and it's all for a charitable cause uh, the Air Ambulance Yorkshire Air Ambulance um, it's going from Farmer Copley's in Pontefract I'm trying to remember everything's just a nightmare for me but <laughs> it's going from Farmer Copley's at Pontefract it's on the 15th of May which is a Sunday it's going to be lovely weather like it's been today so why don't we all go down to it yeah there's going to be fun for all the family 
you don't just have to have a tractor to go there you can see hundreds of tractors i imagine will be there there's little kids rides where kids can ride little tractors there's going to be bouncy castles there's going to be a bar which big mick will absolutely love and to be honest i'll probably have a few beers as well and um, it'd be a nice chance to meet some of you guys that comment and watch our videos and um, it'll be a great chance to come up and say hello to us and yeah so yeah put it in your diary 15th of may if you want more information on it and if you want to enter a tractor or anything like that then um priory rose um vintage group i think it is on facebook and um, i'll put a link in in the description below so that people can um just click on it and go straight there and um, yeah it's 15 pound um, per tractor if you want to put a tractor in but if you just want to come and see the tractors and all that business then it's free entry um, and like i said i might be like rabbiting on here but it's at um, farmer copley's which is at pontefract so let's see how far away we can get somebody coming to that um, to that tractor run because it will be fantastic it'll be worth coming miles and miles to to come and see it or to join in so yeah just um I'll, I'll tell people more about it as we get closer to the time but please put it in your diary bye